Pastor Ed here with Daily Devotions for Wednesday, November the 1st, uh, 2023. Can't believe how time flies. We're already into November. Um, well, for the rest of this week, today through Saturday, um, I'm going to kind of stick with a Reformation theme because Reformation Sunday was this past Sunday. And uh, uh, in particular, talking about Martin Luther, uh, maybe some uh, lesser known things uh, about the great reformer. Um, one of the things that I talked about on Sunday is the, the whole concept um, that, that Luther probably, um, in large part uh, from his reading of Paul in Romans 7, you know, I don't do what I, you know, the good I want to do, it's the evil that I don't want to do that I do, I don't understand my own actions, that whole uh, section of scripture that was our reading on Sunday, um, Luther talked about the fact that we're simultaneously both saints and sinners. Uh, saints because we've been forgiven uh, through Jesus Christ, but we always remain sinners. It's not like we're baptized and all of a sudden everything is good and we never make a mistake again. And um, I remember hearing a televangelist years ago, I think I was still just even a teenager, and and talking about, you know, how, you know, since they were saved, they'd, you know, they, they'd never been sick. You know, it's like everything was perfect in their life. And I don't know that he said it, but the, you know, the, the, the assumption almost was that, you know, I've, I've never done anything wrong. You know, my life has changed and so forth. And Luther was much more realistic and practical and honest in saying, you know, we're like Paul. We, we continue to to do things we shouldn't do. And Luther was not a perfect person. Um, I'm not going to talk about it specifically, but later in his life, and he was beset by some health issues and things like that, and, and a lot of frustration um, that he said some things that in light of today would, come, would definitely um, qualify as being anti-Semitic. Uh, unfortunately, um, those things are out there, and, and you know, the uh, the, the the Nazis in Germany were able to seize upon that and, and kind of use that. Um, my whole point here is that Luther was not not a perfect person. He he made his mistakes. We kind of um, make him to be you know so great and so perfect, and he was great, but he was far from perfect. And one of the regrettable incidents in Luther's life, a little known one. Um, that reminds us that even for Luther, you know, um, we are all saints and sinners. Um, one of the blots on uh, his career uh, was his acquiescence uh, to a bigamous marriage of one Philip of Hesse. And the story goes like this. In 1530, at the height of the Reformation in Germany, um, and at a point where the Protestant cause was probably at its most vulnerable, uh, Philip of Hesse uh, organized uh, the secular Protestant forces of the Reformation into what was known as the Small Caldic League. Uh, this alliance was set up to protect their religious and secular interests against interference uh, from the Roman Catholic Church, in particular the Holy uh, Roman Emperor. And so this Philip of Hesse, uh, in December of 1523, married his first wife, uh, Christine of Saxony, who was the daughter of an important ally, George Duke of Saxony. Um, however, it was in all likelihood, um, you know, he was an important ally. It was all in all likelihood a, an arranged marriage. Uh, she was described by contemporary sources as being sickly and unattractive, which is an unfortunate way to describe her. But she is reputed also to have had a significant drinking problem as well. Um, and so very soon at the, after the marriage, uh, Philip uh, committed adultery with the daughter of one of his sister's ladies-in-waiting, uh, Margaret uh, von der Saal. Um, and over time, he decided he wanted to, to marry her. And so he asked the church for their blessing, and the matter was discussed with the three great German reformers, Martin Luther, uh, Philip Melanchthon and Martin Bucer. Um, it was clearly something that was not scriptural, 
uh, and Luther was unwilling to go along with it, even though I was reading where Philip of Hess argued, you know, the, the patriarchs in the Bible did it, you know, why can't I? Um, however, here's where we are human beings, and even Luther and the other two as well, um, and, and we're vulnerable. Uh, when Philip threatened then to change his allegiance and to side with the Holy Roman Emperor against the Protestants, uh, the reformers, um, in all likelihood, reluctantly uh, gave in. And so they agreed that instead of following the lead of Henry VIII um, and sanctioning a divorce, it would probably be better uh, to sanction a bigamous uh, marriage. Um, and that took place on December the 4th, 1540, between Philip and Margaret. Um, I had read that his first wife was willing to go along with it. Um, and, and I've heard some talk about the fact that uh, given the realities of that day, uh, given uh, that a divorced woman would have um, found it difficult, although she seemed to have come from nobility herself, um, and maybe this is too much of a stretch to argue that it was better for her um, to remain married to him rather than, than to be divorced. Either way, one you know, however you look at it, it was not a shining moment, and it's a it's a reminder that that even someone, even a genius, a monumental character like a, 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 a person like Martin Luther, um, could have flaws and make mistakes. And I also read where he you know wanted Philip to keep it a secret, and Philip kind of had a big mouth about it, and so. Uh, Luther suffered a bit of a hit to his uh, his reputation for going along uh, with it. Um, again, a, kind of a dark blot, um, an unfortunate moment, but just a reminder that even Martin Luther um, was as human and fallible as we are. Well, we're going to say some better things uh, about Luther the rest of the week, um, uh, so hope you'll Come back tomorrow and we'll continue this discussion of the Reformation, in particular Martin Luther. Till then, take care.